Glorantha is living mythology. It's uh, it's hero quests, hero wars. But but for me, uh, it, it all began in the most low powered, low key. You know, I think my first character was a street urchin, who whose main struggle was in the in the city of Pavis, just just getting uh, enough food to live. Yeah, and, and this is a, a game. Where I was, you know, this is my first non D and D role playing game, introduced by Jonathan Tweet, where where it was just very low key, and I think that's the great thing about Glorantha. It's a world about gods. Gods done the right way. Gods done as they should be, you, you know, mythically, um, in in a sensible way, as if as if those myths and legends had been true, not 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 true in the sense that we would think of it. But in the sense that 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 ancient humanity would have thought of it, and and uh, and, and, it, and it scales so well, you know. I mean, even though I was this little street urchin or, or whatever I was, I, I I I felt like I was on a hero quest, which is I think the key to Glorantha. I felt as if that I, I was I was part of this path, and if I was lucky enough and brave enough and skilled enough, and, and that I could work my way up from wherever I was. And become a, a, a hero, and 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 heroes can sometimes become gods, and 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 this is this wonderful you know expression of 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 what Joseph Campbell called the the hero's journey, and uh, Mercia Eliada, you know called you know the sacred of the profane, you know, I was on a sacred journey, and it, it's a powerful feeling, it, it goes beyond anything I've ever felt in any other fantasy game, ever. Or a book, for that matter. My, needless to say, movies. Um, going on. <laughs> um, you know, it's a game in which I felt as if I could create legends. That that maybe I wasn't a legend myself, but but that it was it was that I could become a legend, and that in so doing that it was real. And, and for me, I mean, Glorath is real. Um, I, I don't know how, I don't know why, but but of all the different fantasy worlds that I've ever read or or played in, Glorantha is the one that's real, and and I can't explain why that is, but but it is. Okay, so Glorantha for me also it inspired Ars Magica in the in the sense that Glorantha is the first game I ever played where magic was done right. You know, uh, magic works as if, as as people thought it works. Sympathetic magic, you know, protective magic. Uh, um, magic was something, you know, that that a hundred years ago people actually believed in. I mean, well, there's still people who believe in magic, but 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 I mean, it works the way magic really should work, not the way some Hollywood producer thinks it should work. It really has this feeling of reality, which I think is great. It's about prayers and charms and um it's it's wonderful another great thing about garantha i think is that the whole feeling of the community of people online which i you know i do get involved in occasionally uh not under my own name of course but uh it's all about everyone has their theory about garantha you know it's a mythic world so there is no end to the arguments i mean we still have our greg unlike um you know tolkien who's long gone who, but but he's a very distant uh, uh, judge, you know, so we kind of make our own theories. And, and so Gorantha's become this world in which there are meta-theories within meta-theories hidden by poetry and confused by allegory. It's, it's a mindfuck, and, and, and I love that. That's what I really love about it, is that it's just so... Everyone has a different theory, and, and the world is so deep and intense that these theories matter, and... The crazier the theory, sometimes the longer you spend thinking about it. Um, another thing is the the amazing words, Yamalio. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. That's how we always said it. Uh, Ziotan, Malakani, Zizabar. Uh, these words have always inspired me. I think my love of words comes from many places, but but the words I, I've used in all my work, I, I think, are inspired by. These incredible words that that Greg came up with. 
Um, and then finally, religion. Most most games do religion completely wrong. They 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 make it this power structure thing where you basically get these powers from it. The god gives you these powers. And there's no sense of responsibility or duty sometimes. And I think that in Glorantha, religion is done in a beautiful, beautiful way where, where you are part of this mythic structure that your God gives you, that you have this path given to you by your God. And if you follow this path, you're going to achieve greatness. And, and the path is lined out. Here's your path. Take it. Whereas I think in old school D and D, I haven't played D and D recently, so I don't know a lot about it. But but old school D and D was just like you just went up in levels, and there was no mythic meaning to it. Whereas the Garanta was always about rising up through these guidelines given to you directly by your God. It's incredible, powerful stuff. Both Goranth and the World of Darkness have this in common. They're, both, they're about myth. And myth is this core, basic thing in everyone's life. It's how we perceive reality, I, I think. And it's inspired so many different people. And, and, and in terms of George Lucas, me, Greg, and, and so on and so on. And, and, and uh, doing myth right is really hard. But, but the, the powerful thing about the World of Darkness and Goranth is that um, is that in both sort of worlds, myth is real. It, it, it's not something that, that is layered on top. Oh, we need a mythic type feel to this game. No, myth is how it works. It's the core idea. And, and I stole that from Greg. I stole that from Gloranta. That is stolen. Um, the idea of making a world work by the basis of the myth is, is the key thing. And, and I, I think it's wonderful. And I, I plan on stealing it again. Because um, I think it, it's core to storytelling. And that's another thing. Storytelling. I, I mean, Glorantha is the first world that treated storytelling like it was important. Uh, not just something that some old guy in the corner is, some bard is playing his lute, talking about storytelling. No. Storytelling is literally how you become a hero. Um, people tell stories about you, become a hero. That's great. And, and, and so I was so inspired by that. I called the game system in World of Darkness the storyteller system. And, 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 and I owe it to, to one person, well, many people, but to, to one world, Glorantha. And it's, it's incredible. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I just can't say enough about it. Glorantha for me is, is real. It's, it's and as if it really exists out there somewhere, and I'm not able to travel to it yet, but someday I will. And, and, and until then, I'm just going to keep on gaming and, um, and, and be there as, as, as best I can. So Glorantha is, a, is something that you don't need to know anything about to get something out of it. Um, if, if you inspired and have your creativity somehow just dialed up then read it just read it you don't have to play it read it no matter what game you play no matter what you're into you're gonna find this to be pretty powerful stuff i mean obviously if you only read fantasy novels and you don't like reading about worlds you only like reading stories then maybe you're not gonna get something out of it but most of us i think appreciate world building we, we, we love that layering and texture you get when you read about a world. You're not simply reading a book set in a world. And, 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 and Glorantha is, is, is this. It, it, it's inspirational. You're going to get so many ideas out of it that it's incredible. And, and you know what? It's not a game system. So you have a favorite game system, whether it's D20 or Storyteller, you can easily adapt it to run in this world. And, and, and so there's really no excuse. Um, I think anyone who wants to support the greatness of what role playing is and the greatness of world building and, and the, you know, the, 
the creativity that we all share, this powerful ability to be creative and put ourselves in someone else's shoes and live in someone else's life, that, that if you share that love and that talent with me and the others who created Lorantha, then you need to buy this book now. <laughs> this is one of my most, oops, this is one of my most prized possessions. This is uh, a game I've played many, many times over the years. Uh, I've pulled out more times than I've played, and um, which, by the way, needs to come back. And, and, uh, and I would do almost anything to, to bring this, this game back, perhaps in a somewhat modernized way. But, but this is just an example of all the incredible ways in which this world has come to life, by the way. Avalon Hill. Everyone's had a hand. 